Hi there, this is Cyril. Today I'd like to talk about modes using the guitar. I came across this cool video from Rugbyato on Instagram. Let's have a look. Quick lesson, I like warming up without any chromatic notes, just take one scale. I'll take a C mixolydian scale, right? And play over that. How can we get this nice mixolydian sound? In this video, I will show you how to find the notes on the fretboard, how to build this mode. I will also show you a nice song, a famous song that uses this mixolydian mode. And then I will propose two exercises to practice over. If you want to know where the notes are on the fretboard, you can of course turn to the internet and look for some interactive fretboard like this one. I will put the link in the description as always. But it's a bit better to know how the modes are built and so that we can find them without referring to a shot all the time. Let's first recall what a mode is. A mode is built from a scale. For example, let's take the C major scale. You have those seven notes. So if one plays the C always as a pedal note, as a drone, and play all the notes of the keyboard, you have the sound of the first mode of the major scale, which is the Ionian mode. So I'm just playing the white keys here, and I have this Ionian mode sound, okay? On the guitar, it's the same thing. So if we want to play other modes from the major scale, instead of playing the C as the pedal note, we can just play another note, for example the D as the pedal note, and then play all the other notes of the major scale. So on the keyboard, it's just the white notes, basically. And then we see... We see that the sound is very different. It's much more melancholic. This is the second mode. It's the Dorian mode. I really love this mode. Now the Mixolydian is the fifth mode of the major scale. That means we have to play the G as the pedal note, and then we will hear the mixolydian sound. So the G. That way we have this epic sound going for battle sound of the mixolydian mode. On the guitar it's the same story. If we want to play the G mixolydian from the C major scale, again, we have to start from the G, so C, B, F, G, all right? And then we play all the notes of the major scale. Before going any further, I'd like to invite you to subscribe to the channel if it's not done yet. That will help you to have all my other videos, my tutorials and my music. You can also leave a comment. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Here is a famous song that uses the Mixolydian scale. It's called Clocks from Coldplay. This chord progression is built from the E flat Mixolydian mode or the D sharp Mixolydian mode. So here you have your D sharp or E flat and then you can this one and actually the melody just follows the scale roughly now we know how to have the mixolydian sound let's find the c mixolydian how do we find it again we can look on the internet and find the nice fretboard but we can also think a little bit the mixolydian is the fifth mode built from the major scale so C mixolydian is built from the F major because 
F, G, A, B, C, Mixolydian. So from the F major scale, if I build my mode from the fifth degree, which is the C, I end up with the C Mixolydian. To make sure we're right, we can just compare the F major scale to the C Mixolydian scale on the fretboard. So this is the F major scale, and if we, if we compare it to the C Mixolydian, right there, these are the same notes. The only difference is the red, so the most important note. Here, the most important note is C, and that gives the Mixolydian sound if you keep C as the pedal note. On the F major scale, if you play F as a pedal note, then you will end up with the Ionian sound of the major scale, which is the first mode of the major scale. A first exercise I'd like to propose is to play F major scale, which is the same as the C Mixolydian mode, with a pedal loop. So we will just put the C and maybe the fifth to the C, so that is the G, so that we have the nice background to build our Mixolydian improvisation. So we can just noodle around the F major scale, making sure to insist on two notes, the C, of course, and the A sharp, so the flat seventh, which is really what gives flavor to this C Mixolydian. The second exercise, we can now go a bit further and try to build a chord progression on the C Mixolydian. So how do we build chords from a scale? All right, so here is the C Mixolydian scale. Flat seven here. How do we build chords from that? We just take the first note and then not the next one, but the one after. So this is the first chord of the C Mixolydian scale, okay? This is C major. And then we can do the same as the second chord. It's a D minor. And then the next one, this one, and so on. And then you have all the chords. So it's a cool thing to figure them out and to see what chord progression we can achieve changing the chords. A nice one is this one, C major, G minor, B flat major, and then F major. C. the first degree of the scale and then the one, two, three, four, five, so the fifth degree, which is a minor degree on the mixolydian, and then six, seven, B, seven degree, and then F, which is the So it's it's one, five, seven, so we now that we have the loop, we can just 
improvise a break. today i hope you liked the video remember to subscribe leave a comment was it too complicated or too slow too easy not clear enough i'd be happy if you have time to give me some feedback thank you and see you in the next video goodbye